What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. If this is your very first time here. So today y'all, we are gonna be doing another solo date vlog. It has been a quick, a little minute since we have done a solo date vlog. So today we're gonna be talking about creating your dream or your ideal life. I feel like there's so many of us who are looking to create the life that we want for ourselves. We don't really know where to start. This is something that I have intentionally been doing for myself, though so I'm not at my end goal. I'm on the journey, sis. So. <laughs> We're just gonna be discussing that today. Thank you so much to Farfetch for sponsoring today's video and let's hop right into it. So y'all, don't mind the boxes and the crap in the background, y'all know I'm moving, child. But we're actually gonna start with the outfit today. We're gonna do the makeup, you know, I'm gonna show y'all how I got this look, we gonna discuss some stuff. But first y'all, let's get into this outfit because I'm really excited about it, sis. I'm really excited. <laughs> so I'm just setting you guys up in my closet so that we can, you know, get dressed and get these outfit details going, sis, but. <laughs> so y'all know we've talked about multiple times on the channel just about, you know, your outfit, how you pull yourself together and how that kind of, you know, relates to your life and who you want to be and all that jazz. I personally feel like the way that you put yourself together, the way you want to dress, you know, really like resonates with your dream life and who you want to be. It truly, truly, truly matters, in my opinion. Like, working on my outfits and like my style and my personal style and just intentionally dressing like the person that I want to be versus who I am today has been a thing for me, personally. So. <laughs> for my solo day today, I wanted to look really, really cute, but I wanted to be like very chic. The main pieces of our outfit today are from Farfetch. Thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring today's video. So y'all know I love a good white kind of button down type of top. So I'm gonna be wearing the Jacquemus Capri cropped shirt. And then I'm also pairing this with this beautiful leather bag, which is also Jacquemus, which is also from Farfetch as well. If you don't know what Farfetch is, Farfetch is pretty much your one-stop shop to shop every Everything luxury baby. Farfetch's website houses over 3,000 different designers and they pull from the world's best boutiques and department stores to get you all that luxury in one place. So I love Farfetch. Um, Y'all know I've purchased things from Farfetch before so it ain't nothing new to me. And before we continue, y'all know I'ma hook y'all up. I do have a code <laughs> with Farfetch which is Maya FF, and you can get 10% off of your order. But I have been wanting to get my hands on some Jack Moose pieces so I absolutely love Love this top and I love how it fits and it's really really a beautiful shirt I love the cut and that's what I love the most about Jack Moose period as a designer brand like everything is super cut uniquely or oversized and I really really love that and then the bags are super super cute child let me tell you some I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these bags for the longest <laughs> <laughs> These really cute La Chiquito tote bags are so freaking cute and I love the shade of this one. I love that it's like a nudie shade but it's more a lighter tone and I don't have a bag of this color. So I really really love the quality of the Jack Moose bag as well. This bag in particular does also come with a strap. So I think today I am going to go ahead and put the straps on both sides so that I can wear it with the strap instead of like as a shoulder bag or kind of on my arm. And I love that the strap is also adjustable as well. The top I did get in a large and you guys can find this directly on the Farfetch site it is available but the bag this particular color is not available but they do have a lot of these. A lot of similar styles, a lot of different colors of this particular bag. So make sure you guys check that out. I personally feel like Farfetch has a very unique shopping experience um, just because you have access to all this like extensive access to so many luxury brands. So y'all wanna make sure that you do check out Farfetch. Like I said, I do have a code Maya FF. And then also Farfetch is also in beauty now. So not only now can you shop luxury fashion, but you also can shop luxury beauty as well. So skincare, makeup, fragrance, body, all of that you can find on Farfetch. And they have like over, I think like a hundred different beauty brands that they have on their website now. So make sure y'all check that out. Thank you again to Farfetch for sponsoring today's solo date vlog. And we're gonna finish up with the outfit and the details and stuff after we do the makeup, but let's go ahead and get to this face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my loves, let's go ahead and hop into this face. We gonna make it real brief, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna take too long. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to go ahead and do my face and talk to you guys a little bit. Mostly I wanted to talk to you guys about creating the right environment for your dream life because I feel like that was something big for me when I was deciding, you know, the life that I wanted and what I wanted that to look like for me. 
it had a lot to do with my environment. You know, what I allow myself to be around, the environment I create for myself, that was a biggie for me. I feel like what we're around in our daily lives definitely impacts our, obviously our daily life, but also like our goals and our future and things like that. For me, this meant like, you know, my relationship with my family and my friends and the boundaries I place on that, that's my environment. Also my hobbies, my home. And even, you know, as far as, what I allow into my gates, you know, my eye gates, my ear gates, what I listen to, what I watch, all of that truly matters in your environment when you're talking about creating the dream life or the ideal life that you want for yourself. One thing that I like to do when I have a goal is to, you know, decide on what that goal is and then I'll work backwards on that goal. So I, I'll essentially know like what my end goal is and then I can work backwards to see what steps do I need to start taking today to get towards that goal. So I am a really firm believer of writing things down. <laughs> writing things down and you know, whether for you that's a vision board or whatever you want that to look like, that's a very useful tool that I do so I can really see the vision that I have for myself. If I'm gonna give an example of what this looks like, um, I would say for me, cause I feel like I have intentionally done this recently, and while I'm not at my end goal, I am working towards that and on the journey towards that. So as an influencer, I see, or I saw myself as not just being a beauty influencer, of course, number one, that was changing in the world of influence in the first place. <laughs> but I saw myself not only just, you know, being able to give um, beauty tips and stuff, but I wanted to be just a holistic life, you know, style type of channel that also was inspirational and everything like that. However, though that's what I wanted to do, my end goal or my long-term goal in this is to have my own brand. And I know that in my brand, I wanted it to be an inspirational brand. I wanted to include makeup, fashion, home decor, very much lifestyle, which doesn't necessarily, you know, coordinate with just being a beauty influencer, you know? So with me having that goal and being super intentional, and though I do feel that like things happen naturally based on where I was in my life and you know, things that were happening, y'all know my story if you've been around for a while. But if I was to work backwards on that goal, it would make sense that people would be following me when I launched that brand for my home decor, for my lifestyle, for my inspiration. You know what I'm saying? So um, with me being a YouTuber now, it makes sense for me to start creating content that either is that or will lead to that eventually, you know, that kind of content. So I just say that as more of like a practical type of, you know, example of what I mean by creating a goal or figuring out what your goal is and then working backwards to see what you need to do in your daily life now to make sure that you are going towards your goal. I feel like when we don't have a goal, we can end up anywhere. We don't have a direction. We could end up literally anywhere. I'm a huge advocate of knowing exactly where you're going so that you can make the right decisions in the present, you know? Because if you don't have an end goal and you're not working towards that daily, then you low key could just fall anywhere and end up way left from where you thought you wanted to be. So for me, organizing my thoughts in that way and working backwards makes a big difference because I also have it in the forefront of my mind, you know, every day as I'm creating content, as I am coming up with video ideas or brainstorming or anything like that, I always have that end goal in mind because I'm like, okay, how will this feed into where I wanna be in five to 10 years? The dream life that I want for myself is to be somebody's CEO. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And making orders from the beach. <laughs> But, you know, doing what I love, providing the products that I love, you know, I'm still making content. So how do I start to create that path for myself today? I'm gonna go ahead and powder this face down, sis, real quick. So I also feel like when you actually make that, you know, breakdown, that changes in your environment will show up into that breakdown or whatever, you know, when you're moving backwards from that goal. This could be as small as changing, you know, the way that your home is decorated <laughs> and what you wear to removing some people from your life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it can really range what, it, what that means for your environment change, but there are definitely things that are necessary, I feel, to create the life that you want. And sometimes it's not as pretty as, you know, 
buying a new wardrobe or, you know, making new friends. Sometimes it's changing a career path and that's really scary or it's removing, you know, toxic people from your life that have been there for a long time and you know it's gonna cause drama, like. But at the end of the day, I feel like for me, like I had to realize changing my life and creating the life that I want is all about Maya, you know? Of course, I have a child, so it's about her as well and creating a life that I want for her too, but it's not about other people. Like, forget what they think. You gotta stop thinking about, you know, what other will, other people will think about you and start living for yourself. Because at the end of the day, they not there when you at home by yourself. They not there when you naked in your bathroom. They weren't there when you were born. They're not gonna be there when you die. So I just feel like it's really important to remember that. For me, a big part of creating my dream life had to do with, you know, my Christian life and my Christian walk and, you know, just making the right decisions for myself, for my daughter, for my life. There's certain music I stop listening to. There's certain movies and, you know, visuals that I stopped you know engaging in I watched what I brought into my life into my environment into my home spirits in my home like that was a big thing for me I watched how I spent my time I started watching how I talk to myself and these are different topics that we've actually you know covered on our channel big all of that really matters and I'm not gonna say that I'm perfect at this because I'm definitely not like for me my environment also includes like how I spend my mornings and of course right now I'm in limbo I got a lot going on you know I'm back and forth I'm not settled but with me you know transitioning to Atlanta right now I was just having a conversation with someone about this yesterday once I move and get settled I really want to watch how I spend my mornings because for me with my dream life I see myself as being that girl who wakes up you know, five, six o'clock in the morning, gets her workout in. Cause you know, when we work out in the morning, we feel good sis all day. <laughs> so I want that. <laughs> I want to be that person where I'm waking up early, I'm working out, I'm, you know, spending time with God. You know, the first part of my day to set the tone so I can have more productive days, whether that be a day that I'm on the couch or whether it be a day where I'm working all day. For me, that's an environment change that I need to start, that I wanna start making small changes to now and breaking certain habits so that in the future, when I have this dream life, I'm working towards that so I can actually, you know, be that person that I dream of being. I definitely feel like we shouldn't us underestimate, you know, how intentional small changes in our daily lives can really change you know, the course of our lives. And I'm aware that it's super duper hard to like break habits, you know, it's so hard to break habits. <laughs> Especially if you've been doing the most of your life. We all know or have heard that it takes 21 days to break a habit or to make a habit or to break a habit. So, you know, I feel like even if you're not perfect, one day you do well, the next day you don't do well. Let's say you wanna stop cursing. You know, maybe your dream life or your ideal life is you, you know, part of that is you not using profanity. One day you might mess up because somebody cut you off in the street. And then the next day you catch yourself when it's about to come out of your mouth. You know what I'm saying? It's not about perfection, it's about intentionality. Cause I used to curse as well and I stopped. <laughs> and that's kind of how I did that for myself. You know, every time it happened, I didn't just let it easily slide off my tongue. Um, I'd had that goal in my mind. So it's in the forefront of my mind that I don't want this to just freely just be out there because I'm changing this about myself. So when you keep it in the forefront of your mind, it's easier for you to make that change. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a nude lip. I was gonna do something darker, but I feel like it's springtime and I'm wearing more neutral colors. And so I wanna suggest, you know, do something lighter on the lips. But this is my um, Sweet Mouth Gloss Balm from Fenty Beauty. So I feel like it's a really pretty spring lighter gloss to go with the look. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go ahead and uh, throw the clothes on. You've already seen the outfits, but we're gonna throw the clothes on and then we're gonna go ahead and do a few details before we head out. All right, y'all, so we are back. We got our outfit back on. I'm gonna go ahead and change out my earrings because I really wanted to put on like some hoops with this outfit today. So we're just gonna go ahead and with these small dainty hoops. I think these are really, really cute for what we're going for today instead of the studs. And I feel like those really add to the to the vibes, you know? <laughs> and now I'm taking you guys in the room so that we can choose a fragrances because we gotta figure out what fragrance we're going to wear. Um, and don't mind my closet, yeah. Let's just close that up, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I think we're gonna go ahead and do Burrito Mojave Ghost today. I think this is a really nice scent for daytime. So let's go ahead and spray this on. Y'all know I like to get the neck and the everything and all over, you know, baby, just in case a little hair whiff, you know? 
<laughs> and lastly, um, before we get ready to head out, let's go ahead and put on some lotion and stuff, child, because make sure we ain't, you know, ashy. Just make sure we're paying attention to the body, especially since the legs are out today. So I'm just using my favorite body butter right now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and lather up the legs, and then we're gonna pop on our shoes. Um, then I'm also gonna put on this gold watch. This was actually my grandmother's watch, so it's a vintage watch. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on, because I feel like it looks really good with the gold hoops. So now we got the whole outfit, y'all. So this is how we are looking. I am really feeling it. I think it looks super, super cute, especially with this bag. Like, I mean, the bag, the bag is giving, sis. The bag is giving. I absolutely love the shoulder bag that comes with this. And I just feel like this is really cute and chic. You know, it's, it's definitely giving, sis. So yeah, babe, so we are actually about to head to the museum. I've been wanting to get to the art museum. I really want to get a mirror there, especially when we're talking about creating our dream life. Part of my dream life is getting my baby more cultured. I want to travel more and stuff, but like I got to start dibbling dabbling into it now and with her too. And I've been trying to find other things to do for solo day vlogs besides just go and stuff my face. So <laughs> I felt like going um, to the museum was going to be really, really cute today. Um, it's a really nice day outside. So we're just going to head out. Um, we'll get some food afterwards, but y'all know how we do with our solo date vlogs. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little voiceover over our solo dates and we go. What's up? So the last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was just focusing on the kind of life that you want versus what people around you want for you or, you know, kind of mimicking the life of others around you, especially with social media and influences and your child, all of this stuff. I am included, unfortunately, <laughs> but with all of that in our faces, it's easy to want the life of someone else or to want to, you know mimic their life or to even listen to the people in our lives our families our friends and what they want for us and i just wanted to remind you guys that it's really important to make sure you decide that for yourself like it's okay if your dream life or your ideal life looks different from others like we individuals child we we not supposed to be the same you know what i'm saying <laughs> but i do feel like it takes getting to know yourself to figure out what kind of life you do want to live you know some people figure that out in their early 20s some people figure that out in their late 30s or 40s or whatever the case may be for me i feel like it was my late 20s once i figured out exactly who maya was who i wanted to be the life that i wanted but it also takes, you know, getting comfortable with yourself and your interests and your passions to decide that for yourself. Because that's a big decision to decide what kind of life that you want. And that will continue to change, too. I feel like that's something we got to get used to is making sure that we're OK with change and that change is not a bad thing. And I feel like it's also important to remember that everyone's timeline is different. Just because you didn't figure it out, you know, in your early 20s doesn't mean you're not okay. Like for me, I felt like it was a little bit later on in life, a little bit later on in my 20s, you know, based on what people say, quote unquote, is supposed to happen. It was a little late and that's okay. And it's okay if it's in your 30s or your 40s, but I hope you guys really enjoyed today's solo date vlog. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling right now. So I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. Love y'all. Bye.